Today, we are going to talk about something you see all around, especially in the countryside, crops. So, what exactly is a crop? Imagine a large piece of land where farmers grow plants. But not just any plants, these are special because they're all of the same kind and are grown for us to eat. Yes, that's right. A crop is a bunch of plants of the same kind grown together in a big area, and they're super important because they're a source of our food. Cool, right? Let's find out more about these crops. Did you know that not all crops are grown at the same time? Yep, there are different types of crops based on when they are planted. First, we have Kharif crops. These are planted during the rainy season, which is from June to September. Then, we have Rabi crops. These ones are planted in the winter season, from October to March. So, depending on the season, farmers decide what type of crop they are going to plant. Let's talk about some Kharif crops. These include crops like cotton, groundnut and maize. Remember, these are planted during the rainy season. And what about Rabi crops? Some examples of these are wheat, mustard and peas. These are planted during the cooler winter months. It's amazing how farmers know exactly what to plant and when, right? Growing crops isn't just about planting seeds. There are several steps involved to make sure we get lots of healthy food. These steps are preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protection from weeds, harvesting, and finally, storage. Each step is important to make sure the crops grow well and are ready for us to eat. First up, we need to get the soil ready and that's called plowing. It's when the soil is loosened up. This makes it easier for seeds to get all the air and water they need to grow. Farmers use tools like the plow, hoe, and cultivator to do this job. Speaking of tools, let's dive a bit deeper. A plow is a big tool used for tilling the soil, adding fertilizers, and loosening it up. A hoe is smaller and is used for digging up soil to remove weeds and loosen the soil before planting. And a cultivator? It's usually attached to a tractor, helping in loosening the soil. These tools are super important for preparing the soil for planting. Once the soil is ready, it's time for sowing basically, planting seeds. But not just anyhow. Seeds need to be healthy and planted at the right distance from each other. They need enough space to get light, water, and nutrients. They also need to be sown not too deep so they can get air but deep enough so animals and the wind don't carry them away. After planting, the soil needs a little boost because growing the same crops can make it poor in nutrients. That's where manure and fertilizers come in. They add back nutrients into the soil, helping the plants grow healthy and strong. Let's talk manure. It's a natural, organic way to enrich the soil. Manure is of five types. Raw manure is a mixture of cattle and domestic waste. Compost is well-rotted plant and animal residue. Green manure are crops buried in the field to enrich the soil. It's all about keeping the soil healthy naturally. Another cool thing? Biofertilizers. These are special because they use nitrogen-fixing organisms like rhizobium and azotobacter, which are great for organic farming. And there's vermi compost, made with the help of earthworms. Earthworms help break down organic matter, turning it into great food for the plants. Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference between manure and fertilizer? Manure is made from natural waste, doesn't harm the environment, and is great for long-term soil health but not as quick-acting as fertilizers. Fertilizers, on the other hand, are made in factories, work fast, but can have chemicals that aren't always great for the soil in the long run. After all that, crops need water to grow and that's where irrigation comes in. It's all about giving water to the crops at different time intervals to make sure they grow well. 
There are traditional ways of getting water to the fields, like using water from wells, lakes, and canals. Different places have different methods like moat and chain pump. And there are modern ways too, like using sprinklers and drip systems. These help water the crops efficiently, making sure every drop counts. Next up, protecting the crops from weeds. Weeds are those unwanted plants that grow with the crops. They need to be removed because they take away water, nutrients, space, and light from the crops. The removal of weeds is called weeding. Weeding is necessary because they affect the growth of the crop by competing with the crop plants for water, nutrients, space, and light. The crops are all grown up and ready. It's time for harvesting. This is when the crops are cut down and collected because they're ripe and ready to be turned into food. After harvesting, there's threshing. This is the process of separating the grains from the rest of the plant. A machine called a thresher is used for this. A combine is a cool machine that combines harvesting and threshing. It makes the job a lot faster and easier. Then, there's winnowing. Winnowing is a process in which we allow natural wind to blow through the grains so the lighter substances fly away, whereas the heavier grains fall to the ground. Last but not least, storage. Once the grains are all cleaned, they need to be dried and stored properly to make sure they don't rot. They're kept in dry, ventilated places so we can have food all year round. And that's it. From preparing the soil to storing the grains, growing crops is a big job but super important for making sure we all have food to eat. We hope that you have understood the topic. You can now study chapter notes, watch video lectures, and solve MCQ tests of this chapter on Eduref to ensure you score well in your school exams. And that's not all, you also get amazing courses for maths, science, English, Hindi, and much more for class 8. Thank you.